Ostrich. <laughs> Welcome. Could you please tell me your name and, and tell me why you're here? Well, my name is Rafael, uh, Rafael Grossman. I'm a, uh, I'm a surgeon, a general surgeon, and I'm a, uh, a surgeon who uh, it's a passion about innovation and technology in healthcare. Uh -huh. I've been working with telemedicine and uh, mobile health for, for many years, and uh, um, recently I attended Future Med at Singularity University in Silicon Valley, and I was able to, uh, uh, to look at what Glass, Google Glass can do. And then I applied uh, for, for a pair of glasses uh, to Google based on my vision, as well as many thousand people did. And yeah. uh, a few thousand people got the, the, the privilege, the honor to, to be able to acquire glass. And I did, and I was one of the ones. And I was able to, uh, to uh, uh, I guess, the, the first time the glass was used in the operating room, I, I, um, I did it. And uh, from then on, I've been trying to uh, think about ways of uh, Google Glass uh, uh, helping us uh, providers give better better care to patients and I think the potential is, is, is really incredible so yeah. that's why I'm here. So, so, so in what way can it help you think? Well I think I see glass as the, uh, as the evolution of the, of the computing device. Uh, just like we, we started using you know, bigger computers initially and then you know, smaller ones and then laptops and tablets and smartphones and smart watches and now Google Glass, it's a, it is a step wise uh, progression of glass. But usually you don't use a computer when you're operating. No, you don't. Uh, but uh, sometimes uh, you uh, want to uh, consult with someone, with uh -huh. another provider, another expert about something that you're seeing or you want to have an, an opinion. During the operation. During the operation. Or let's say you want to uh, show a number of students what you are doing so they can learn or that you are helping someone, uh, you know, out there who needs your help, someone who didn't have or doesn't have that much expertise, or you want to get expertise from someone who is not there physically with you, I think Google Glass allows you to not just uh, record a video or take pictures, but also do a live, a synchronous audio video connection with uh, anywhere, anywhere. So uh, you could potentially virtually be anywhere and bring people to you anytime as long as you have connectivity. Yeah. So that's the potential of glass. I think that enhances communication and connectivity uh, among providers. Uh, so. Yeah. And and you feel um, well, physicians are are up up for this because I can imagine that when you're operating and you well, it's it's quite difficult. I, yeah. I always imagine yeah, quite Absolutely. precise and uh, yeah, yeah. you. And you don't want anyone, uh, well, looking over your shoulder or interfering or. Yeah. Uh, well, I think that precisely, obviously, yes. When you're operating, you you want, or when you're doing any sort of healthcare, you know, act, you want to have your focus on on, on the the actual act and the patient, the safety of the patient. Yeah. But I think that uh, having glass, precisely, in a way, because it's a wearable platform you sort of forget that you have it there. So if I were to be operating, I can be showing a number of, let's say, students in, in an auditorium exactly what I'm doing rather than having them trying to peek behind my shoulder. <laughs> and uh, so uh, uh, that's one you know, big potential use of glass that I think is it's really you know, pretty intuitive to, to, to see, yeah, know, yeah. The, the potential for that. Yeah, so you're really enthusiastic. Um, are, are, do you feel that other physicians are as well? <laughs> Well, I think that uh, a, a culture change is a, is a big deal. I think just like just like any new device, any new technology, any new way to do things, it takes uh, a while. I think that uh, mm -hmm. the same thing is happening with glass. Uh, certainly in healthcare, we use a lot of technology, but I think that uh, we lack lag behind in regards to adoption of newer technologies but I think it's not just the technology mm -hmm. it's the idea behind the use of the technology so that that obviously takes it takes time but that that's one of the reasons why I'm here why I am active in, in healthcare social media because I think that those platforms and really the best way to share a, a ideas and yeah. this is a I think a good idea that that could really transform and improve the way we provide healthcare yeah, uh, today you you sh you were in contact with a, 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 a physician who was uh, performing an uh, operation. Uh, yeah, we had. Uh, you, we we saw this live on. Uh, on we did, yeah, yeah. and uh, you know we uh, uh, yes, uh, Marlies and and uh, I apologize, I can never pronounce her, her last name, but uh, <laughs> you, you probably uh, Marlies uh, uh, at Amsterdam Medical Center. She was performing live surgery, yeah. and uh, she connected with me live, so she basically brought me. 
to the operating room uh, and she brought the operating room to a yeah. number us. of people well, yeah. you here yeah. and actually there was a live stream to you know to the rest of the world so uh, she obviously ob obtained a patient's uh, consent to do this yeah and so how long how long did it take you to well to get this all in in, in order how long you you when when did you first approach Marlies for, well, for this idea actually she she was the one who approached really? me uh, you know I uh, like I said in in early June I, I did the first uh, uh, operation with glass uh, uh, recorded and uh, and uh, it's such an intuitive idea that I, I said, well, well let's, let's use it. So she had the same idea. She, uh, this was the first time I think that that uh, a, a surgeon to a surgeon, a, a glass to a glass, connected in, in live fashion. There have been, you know, a few uh, 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 times when uh, uh, surgeons, uh, uh, very few times when surgeons have used glass in the operating room and they have streamed. We have Lucien, uh, Lucien Eng Engelin, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, who. Who uh, you know has been one of the pioneers, and and they did a, a great uh, a recording, technically very beautiful recording, uh, not just uh, in the operating room, but in in, any, in some other entities. And uh, but we uh, you know we have uh, the people in Spain, you know, Dr. Guillen, uh, who worked with Droiders in Spain, and they did a surgery also live that they were able to stream. And the day before, I did just my surgery was sort of home homemade the video you know it was very easy to do but it really doesn't take a lot you know to be able to to use glass the way it comes as a device that allows you to connect uh, and communicate better with other person who has glass or not as long as you have a Wi-Fi or a cellular connection you can easily do it so it really doesn't take a lot of planning this we planned in the last couple of days you know the, the, yeah. the plans to do it were there but the actual uh, doing it it just took a few minutes really yeah. so it's yeah. very simple Mm. So now it's, it's, it's all new, it's exciting, people can see this happening and think, wow, this is great. Uh, um, but, um, uh, well, it, it needs to get to a stage where uh, it's, it's, well, no longer a, a hype or a, yep. a gadget or something funny and new, but, it, well, it, it's really taken seriously. Well, how, how long will this take, you think? How long before uh, lots of doctors will use it? You know, it's, it's hard to predict. I think, I'm, I'm completely convinced that it will happen. I think that just like we saw fancy little thin health, you know, a, a smartphones a, take some time to adapt, a, 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 it's going to be the same with Glass. Once this, I think a platform like this, this one or, or similar companies like Samsung or other companies will create platforms that are, that we go from, from, from mobile health on the mm -hmm. cell phone on this to wearable mobile health where we go like this and uh, and uh, I think it's just a matter of, of time and I, I can't imagine that it's going to be more than a few months before people really co is convinced that a device like this allows you to better communicate, better connect and provide better health care. I, I really believe so. I, I'm not sure that this device will ever or, or anytime very soon yeah. substitute smartphones for example but I think that maybe eventually it will happen but I am very sure that in certain areas in certain disciplines certainly healthcare yes. being one of them I think that this device will have to be adopted because because for us to rather than walking around the hospital with a pushing a big computer in a cart or, or having a tablet or, or you know a phone having this here and being able to do everything you do on a smartphone a tablet or a computer here why not? Why not? You're gonna use that, and I think people uh, worry about this device separating the doctor, the provider from the patient. Mm -hmm. I think it's completely the opposite. You know, if I'm if I had your medical record here and I was interviewing you, I could be just in face face to face with you, looking at you and just looking at your medical record rather than you know talking to you on the side. You know, to, to, you know, asking <laughs> questions and getting data and inputting data in the computer. I think that. It allows me to better, you know, get to you, and uh, you know, face to face, looking at your eyes. I can barely, you know, look up and look at your <laughs> your, your your data that I need to to, to, to look at, rather yeah. than turning around. So yeah. I think that it improves, uh, you know, a connection. Communication. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, you are here at the conference to show yeah, what 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 uh, advantages it, it brings and what you can do with it. Uh, uh, what what do you want to get out of it yourself? When are you a happy man when you leave? 
Well, I think this is a fantastic conference. I think that uh, <laughs> that uh, Games for Health is, 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 is new to me. Yeah, I've been always, uh, you know, I'm not a, a, a gamer, a video gamer. You know, I'm, I'm, have, I'm a family man. I have uh, kids, my wife and kids. Uh, you know, the when kids I'm not don't working, game as, uh, they don't game as much as, as other kids, I think. <laughs> but uh, I think that uh, games are certainly one way to, to improve healthcare. And I think this uh, one conference is, is, uh, is helping share that idea and that passion and that innovation in the fact that health and games are not separate but they can be together and you can improve games and you can improve health and uh, you know I met Julian and Sandra back in uh, in June at Doctors 2.0 which is another phenomenal conference mm -hmm. and, and that conference really brought me up to Games for Health and now here I've seen so many incredible developments and, and, and passionate people trying to 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 imagine how the the health can be improved by gaming and uh, and it's I, I, I'm already happy I think that that seeing what I'm seeing and seeing the trend I think is phenomenal are there any big difficulties ahead of ahead of you or ahead of the, the games the serious games I, I'm, I'm not sure right I, I try to not think about the difficulties but actually the, the, the chances easier, the opportunities the chances, yeah, yeah. yeah I think it's better to look at you know the, the positives and not the negatives I think there are always negatives obviously mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, uh, you know I really believe that that imagining how things could be uh, now that we have the technology to get there, it, it's going to, to be much easier. And you have to, again, have the idea behind the use of the current technology. And, uh, and that, uh, I think the, 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 there's no limit as long as we have creativity, you know. Uh, I think creativity, uh, uh, imagination is more important than knowledge. I think Einstein, I think, uh, <laughs> say that. I think uh, it's, uh, it's, imagination is everything. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Pleasure. <laughs>